JC, I had a pretty cool idea, this collector box, what you can see, this is your trap, you can see what's going on, but what they didn't know, it actually started leaking in the bottom, so I got a new collector box, I'm going to replace that. Oh, oh yeah. So this had this had stuff in it. It's plugs. So I'll pull this off and clean it. And listening to what's going on then it kind of kind of leads you to what to look for and obviously this was the first thing I thought of okay um, so you want to check the drains and that connects you, to the trap that here. connects to the trap and you'll see this when I pull this off smell yeah I bet you we have a plugged secondary or a bad heat exchanger this furnace was put in uh, 2010 and we're smelling and obviously you can't smell it because you're in YouTube land but this had smell vision you could smell the it's like a pungy smell it's notorious on the carriers and, and Bryant's. Um, so I'm smelling some, uh, some punginess smell, which is telling me possibly we got a bad heat exchanger. So we're definitely going to probably have to do a combustion tune on this to see, or once they see the burners fire up. Um, it's all part of the process. Oh yeah, it's it's strong. It is strong. secondary that's plugged. Um, I won't know until I get it fired up. I mean the heat exchanger should be under warranty.
A little bit of stuff in it. Rust, mostly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. these I have had this one since last year and I forgot I had it so I this one here I'm not too good 100% convinced that it's accurate so I always try to take two in with me but I'm this time I'm going to take three just to verify that we have no breach in the heat exchanger as far as a uh, crack um, where it's going to be an unsafe condition if it's an unsafe thing then we'll have to just shut her down and uh, luckily here in Michigan uh, we're starting to get some better temperatures yeah it's not warm yet but at least it's not freezing freezing um, but I'm definitely gonna have to order a heat exchanger for this furnace which will be under warranty uh, minus labor obviously but um, yeah, it is what it is, you know, that's, that's why I kind of got away from JCI, but I'm not, back then it was, I thought it was decent equipment, but. Let's see if I can register. Here's one. Yeah, you're welcome. Did you want us to shut that light off down there? No, I'll get it. Okay. We'll go down. All right. Well, I'll be in touch. Thank you. The following Thursday. Good morning. We're here doing a heat exchanger replacement. Morning, Tyler. Morning. This one here. Let's get to this and get you some footage. We're just gonna do shut the power off and we'll get the. see these here were just smashed down um, yeah so this is your secondary heat exchanger this is where everything gets repurposed in the room it was a dead mouse Rotted out. 
Yeah. Yep, that's why we were smelling that funky smell. And that's why we were getting carbon monoxide. This pan just completely. Yeah. Yep, that's why I got, got away from JCI products. As you can see, this is aluminized steel. And we we're rusted, and it looks like they figured it out. And this is stainless steel. This this will never rust. So they must have figured it out that this was having issues. There's another spot right there. Look at that hole. Tyler, how's your whole family? <laughs> um, yep. So that should be good. Yeah. So they give you this gasket material. You need to put this in the bottom. Equal it out. Yeah. Just wrap it on the side. Yep. Gotta lift it up over the edge and my fingers. start dropping down. Alright, unit just kicked on high fire. As you can see, it's starting to drop down now. Dropping down fast. just satisfied the thermostat. <laughs> Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, thermostat just satisfied, but we're... Heat exchanger's good. And if you uh, if you get any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. See you in the next one.